All right, hello everyone again. Um, so since uh, I am one of the co-lead of the informatics task force uh, for the vaccine, um, so Wiring 2.0 uh, project, so Oliver asked me to introduce some of our ongoing efforts uh, using ontology and the machine learning technologies for uh, vaccine informatics. So since I only have a few minutes, so uh, I won't go through details, so I'll stay on high level. And if any of you guys have you know, interest, are interested in you know, like some of the components, uh, please feel free to contact me, we can talk offline. Um, so, so the overarching goal, I think, is to create an ecosystem for uh, data center to vaccine informatics research. Um, so we're, you know, I think we're, we're trying to actually leverage all the all type of data, you know, we can find, including, you know, social media data, biometric literature, uh, clinical data, including EHR, uh, biomedical data repository that are publicly available. And also, you know, we also see some of the consumer health side, um, although I think the current device, uh, Marvin doesn't really focus on the consumer, the consumer side, but, you know, my team, we have been working on consumer um, side for uh, vaccine informatics, including, uh, you know, like the um, conversational agents for uh, vaccination promotion and et cetera. I will, I will touch base a little bit on the following slides. Um, so uh, basically, uh, we're trying to develop cutting-edge biomedical informatics uh, technologies uh, to, um, to resolve different problems. And uh, one of the key is to uh, closely engage with domain experts, uh, including biologists, pharmaceutical uh, scientists, clinicians, and et cetera, so that you know, we want to understand their concerns and the, uh, their problems so that we can better develop tools to help them make their life easier. So, you know, like I think for uh, the Wavi uh, 2.0 is also, you know, we are acti actively uh, seeking for uh, use cases for the uh, knowledge base we're developing. Hopefully, you know, that'll be really useful and make significant impact in um, vaccine research. And uh, on the, you know, on the Top part, you know, we're trying to develop different technologies, including using ontology and NLP and machine learning and et cetera. And uh, we are focusing on three different components. The first one is data standardization and the integration. We, we do that through ontology and semantic web technologies. And the second one is data extraction through text mining and NLP. So John Group kind of discussed it a little bit. And also the, the, the third one is data processing and analysis. So we do that majorly through machine learning and uh, statistical methods. Um, so here I want to showcase a, a few ongoing efforts um, we have been working on in the past few years, focusing on um, you know, vaccine research from different perspectives. Um, the first one is you know, for vaccine safety analysis. So we actually have an ongoing R1 focusing on using the VIRS uh, repository uh, to identify sick, uh, vaccine sick, safety signals. Um, so as we all know, you know, like the, but, but, so VIRS um, system actually includes a lot of like, a rich um, data for um, vaccine uh, adverse events. Um, but uh, a lot of uh, information actually hidden in the uh, narratives. So in addition to the structured data, the reports also include a uh, natural language narrative that actually includes a lot of uh, additional information uh, that are mainly uh, ignored by a lot of research. So what we're trying to do is, you know, to integrate the structured data with uh, data extracted from the uh, narratives. So, you know, we, we, we develop uh, a ontology called the uh, uh, PO, time event ontology, uh, because for, um, you know, this type of research, temporal information is actually critical. So we want to actually infer temporal information uh, for, you know, vaccination data and uh, um, the, the possible we, uh, uh, adverse event time. And also we also use the uh, vaccine, 
we all like uh, vaccine ontology and the OAE ontology for adverse event. And, uh, you know, based on the ontology definition, we're developing uh, NLP technologies to extract possible events after vaccination. And uh, we have a uh, reasoner that could uh, infer temporal relations so that, you know, we could um, have uh, some type of, you know, like a serious event after vaccination. And based on that, you know, if we have a lot of reports, uh, we're developing, um, you know, a tool for dynamic predict uh, vaccine, uh, severe uh, adverse events based on what we have seen. Um, and also we, we have uh, extended this technology to using EHR data. So basically, you know, uh, for, for EHR data, same thing, right? The EHR data is only, you know, it also includes more information actually. So uh, we try to apply similar technology and extract temporal uh, information or temporal relations from EHR data so that we can further, um, you know, uh, infer temporal relations for certain clinical events. Um, and this is also ontology and uh, NLP uh, oriented. And uh, after that, we're trying to develop EHR-based risk prediction. So basically, you know, this could be general to, you know, any clinical problems, not just for uh, VAE, but also for like uh, other, um, like drug adverse events or other um, uh, clinical events. Uh, for example, we have been applied this to a predicting, uh, like, see, bleeding events after uh, certain, um, like, stent implantation and, and etc. So basically, we we, we, we can uh, define the cohort, and we can uh, define the uh, prediction window and observation window. We we can use our um, deep learning method to uh, predict risk, um, like the, the percentage or the potential for the, for the patient to develop certain um, uh, adverse events after a different type of um, intervention. Um, and also, you know, we're leveraging uh, social media data. So there are different type of applications of social media data. The first one is for uh, vaccine misinformation analysis. So, you know, we are trying to develop um, machine learning based classifiers so first, identify misinformation from social media posts. And also uh, we develop some type of topic modeling to try to identify major topics around uh, misinformation. And uh, we also work, we're also working on um, vaccine per, uh, perception analysis. So basically, you know, there are people who are pro-vaccine or anti-vaccine. So, you know, for people who are anti-vaccine, we want to understand the rationale and why they're doing this. And we're trying to align uh, what they post online to different public health model, for example, health belief model, trying to understand the reason why, you know, they're anti-vaccine. And of course, we're also using social media data for vaccine adverse event extraction. Um, so these would be a good complementary source for, like say um, to to uh, VIRS and EHR, so that hopefully we can uh, find additional um, signals. Um, yeah, so he, I think these all have so a little yes out of out of So basically, we're hiring. So you know, we we're trying to hire find people who are interested in vaccine informatics or um, biomedical informatics in general. So if you know anyone who are interested please let them contact me. So here's my email. So we, we have opening for, uh, you know, students, postdoc and uh, uh, programmers and also uh, research faculty. Um, I think that's it. Thank you.